So in this video, we are going to see how we can develop the help desk ticket system using the Django framework. And before going to start the development, I want to show you the demo, like how exactly our project will work. So here you can see this is the registration page. So let me start with the registration. So I'm doing registration, for example, greedy. Greedy. Then I'm giving surname Yado. Then email address greedy at the rate gmail.com. Then username, you can give any username, whatever you want. So I'm giving greedy only. Then password. Then confirm password. Then state. For example, I'm giving these things, then register. Congratulations on successful sign up. So our registration is done for one user. I need one more user. So let's create one more user. Previously, what's greeting right now? This time I want to create, for example, Goku. Then surname Yado only. Then email address Goku. Then user name Goku only I'm giving. Then password. Confirm password. Yeah. Register. So congratulations on successfully in sign up. So I have created two user, uh, Grady and uh, Goku. So we have successfully created two user and we have seen how our register page is working. Then I want to log in with that user. So if you remember, I have created greedy. Then password. Login. See, after logging with the greedy, greedy user ID, my name is showing here. This is the username which is showing here. It is my dashboard. So it is not fully completed. I am going to complete it during this uh, course. But right now I have completed up to this. So right now we don't have any task because of that all the things are showing 0000 only and this is our home page you can see we don't have any task or any ticket and in my task also we don't have anything in dashboard nothing then here create task and here is the show profile change password and logout functionality we have if I click on show profile see first name greedy last name yado technology python greedy these things are coming from here we can edit the profile if you want you can change these things let me save see the address is changed so and this is the account holder name which is a greedy only and this is the balance how much you have so by default in my case i have a thousand coin then this is a transaction history so right now we have not did any transaction so because of that only we don't have any data and these are the uh, functionality we have with the help of this we can export the data so let's create one task I'm creating one task for example add function and here I'm giving you description I want add function for that I'm giving uh, 300 uh, gems or you can say coin and this is my or uh, task due date let me create so task created successfully i want to create one more task because i want to show you multiple things here i'm giving these things tell me here anything i'm giving so for example for this i have 30 create task so i have two tasks see by default the status of the task is open and uh, here you can see the title it's showing add function testing then who rest then it is raised by greedy and uh, when raised so it is showing the date and what is the due date so this is the due date and status is open and this is the reward so when the status is open and you are the owner of the task like you are only created that task here you can see raised by greedy and login with also greedy at that time if you click on view here you can see go update delete functionality you can update if you want for example, I don't want to give 300, I want to give 
200 only so from here i can update the record see task updated successfully and here you can see it's showing 200 coins and if you come again here you can delete also if you want and if you go back also if i click on go back see it's coming again back to the home page and if i come here i can delete also so let me delete see record deleted successfully so this is how you can do let me create again because i want to show more functionality so i need that one i'm giving any random thing yeah task created see add function this is created and the reward is 12 quite so this is one user has log register and login and created the task then other user can log in and accept that task and close that task after that the owner of that the person who has created the task he can uh, mark it, confirm it as a solving zone so let me show you let me first uh, log out and log in with the second user which is goku yeah see right now it's showing total task to what is the status open you click here it will redirect to here or you can from here also you can go to on home page so we have a two tasks first is a testing second is the add function and these are created by the greedy user id and right now we have login in the goku user id and uh, see for a go for a user who have created the task for that if we click on view we have get three different options go back update and delete but if some other user id is login and want to see that uh, task then it will get different option like accept and go back so we can either accept and go back so goku is the different id and greedy is the different id greedy is created this task and right now i log in with the goku and when i click here i can accept this one so task accepted successfully after accepting task it is coming to the cart which is my task here if i come here and if i click here see it is showing in my task because i have expect accepted that task and see after accepting the task the task status change from open to in process and the holder of the task is showing goku because you only accepted not you i mean goku only accepted the task because of that only task holder is goku showing and from here either if you want you can remove the task from your bucket if you don't want to solve it or if you want to solve it you can click on close task and you can solve this task so let me remove from task see record remove sub uh, remove successfully so that the task is removed and it is again changed to open states and in, if i go in my task see there is a no task if i come here and if i come here then accept see again it's showing open if i accept it is task accepted successfully if i come here see the status is showing in process and if i go here i can close from here so let's i want to close this task right now here only have added button like close task and it will automatically change the status of the task to close but uh, when we develop here i want to add one form like after clicking on close task it should open one form there i can write my comments and if i want i can attach my quotes or files so right now i don't have added that functionality but but uh, we will add so let me click on close task see task close successfully after that uh, status is changed to closed and if i come here see that task is removed after the closing the task that task removed from my bucket i have one more task i want to close accept and close this one also yeah so i have a two task and both the task is closed and here is the functionality we can export this data let me show you see greedy raised by greedy testing add function whatever the data we have we are we are able to print it uh, we are able to export same you can do for export in csv and excel also so this functionality we have and one more thing the task is closed so after the task is closed if i'm clicking i'm only getting the go back button i'm not getting accept button because it is already closed so it doesn't make any sense to display the accept button again 
so that functionality we have added and here you can see it's showing closed by Goku and here we are getting the date time also when it is closed so go back and let me log out and log in with the greedy which is the user who created that task see uh, click on home both the task is closed see previously when the person or user who created the task he cre clicking on the view he is getting update delete or go back option but after the close status when it is going to be clicked by the raised by user then you will get different option resolved and reopen so either you can confirm clicking on resolved and you can reopen if you don't uh, happy with the solution so let me show you for example i want to click on resolved so transaction completed successfully and here is the a transaction history page where it shows from greedy user to goku user 30 coins transfer on this date and time and if i come here see the ticket status or task status is showing resolved and if i again click on view it is showing go back previously it was showing a resolved and reopen but after the resolved it's showing only go back and here it's showing confirmed by greedy greedy is nothing but the owner of or person who have created this task and this is the date when is confirmed so this data is coming when you are clicking on confirm or, or clicking on resolved button and these are the uh, rewards for this task go back here we have one more like for this i want to show you the reopen functionality if i click on reopen task reopen again and here it's showing reopen but there is a one twist after reopen it's showing go back only and after reopen it is going to be the in the bucket of the person who has closed that task so in our case we have a goku which is userizing user id who has closed that task see if you come here see it's showing in the my task of the goku and status is the reopen so from here he can again uh, closed or solution you can provide from here so again i'm clicking on task close successfully and one more thing if i show the transaction see previously it was um, 1000 coin but uh, after the transaction it's showing uh, 1000 this one 1030 because he got the uh, coin from the greedy so it is updated here and if you see i will show that uh, greedy user <laughs> come here see uh, 970 30 coin is minus from here and let me close this one resolve see again 12 coin is transfer from greedy to goku and if you see here transaction again 12 minus from this one and if you log out and log in with the goku come here see that um coin is added here and if you want you can see the transaction here so this is how exactly this things is working and one more thing here i have added paging nation if the record is more than 10 then we will get the option to click on next 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 button right now i have only two records so because of that only i don't have next page and if you want you can change the uh, number of records how much you want to display here so we have a 10 25 50 and 100 so these are the different different uh, option you can select to display the number of records and one more thing from here you can search anything if you want for example i'm here and if i want to search or uh, testing one second see so it's only filtering the testing if i want to filter add so it's only filtering the add so this is also fully functional and as i told you you can export these things and from here you can change the password we have a functionality to change the password and uh, yeah so that much only 
but uh, I can assure you, like, if you develop this project, you will get lots of knowledge. Why? Because I have worked on five to six different different models and uh, near about to more than 20 different different uh, views and uh, different different forms. So you will get more amount of knowledge, a good amount of knowledge. So I believe, I believe you have liked this video. So please like and subscribe my channel. And from next video, we will start the development part. And one more thing before going to show the development part, these are the points what we are going to be see. Like we will create virtual environment, base page, neobar page, registration page, user profile page, login page, forget password page, change password. Then we will see how we can create task, add, edit the task, delete the task, accept the task into the bucket, close the task, remove the task from bucket, resolve the task, send reward to the person who has closed the task, then reopen the task. After that, we will see how we can add the transaction history page, which is I have already shown you this all things. Then export the data functionality in PDF, CSV and Excel file format, session timeout functionality, paging nation, dashboard, set time zone, upload text file, email verification, Python coding standard tips. These all things we are going to be learn in this one project. So again, I'm saying this will be a very good project for you because we are going to learn different, different functionality one in one single project. And one more thing, uh, I'm not going to uh, restrict myself to, dis uh, to show you only these 25 points. No, if it is a possible, I will add new, new functionality in this project. So thank you so much for watching this video and please like and subscribe my channel. Bye.